and uh, you're new to unlimited hydroplane racing, but when you get out of a boat that flips over, you just have to walk away and say you're lucky. Lake Washington's been tough on boats in the past. Today, I played havoc with Chip Hanauer and the Squire Shop. Brooks Burford has the report. The Squire Shop was on Lake Washington most of the day. The crew was trying out different propellers on the boat for the last unlimited race of the season this Sunday in San Diego. The Squire was driven by Seattle's Chip Hanauer. Then at 3 o'clock this afternoon, in front of the Stan Sayers pits on the straightaway, this is what happened. Chip Hanauer was hauled out of the water in a lot of pain. He was badly shaken up but conscious. Chip was taken to Harborview Medical Center. Doctors there say he is all right. X-rays show that even though the crash could have killed him, he didn't break any bones. These pictures were taken by Larry Oberto, the old boy Oberto boat owner's son. The driver of the Oberto, the U-8, saw it all. Well, they, it looked a little uh, shaky at times, and then they just put a new propeller on it. It looked real good. It looked really super good when they were running, and it just, uh, there was a gust of wind coming back up, and uh, evidently he hit it just the wrong way. The Squire was destroyed. It had a fire coming into the pits of the Madison, Indiana race earlier this year and was damaged then. It looks like the end of the season for the U2. Brooks Burford, Channel 7 Island of Sports. Now you see the boat in its condition, but let's take one more look at that in slow motion and see just how Chip made it through the flip of the Squire shop. Here comes the boat, probably, what, 150, 60? The boat gets airborne. You see it up. Now, right about here, Chip would go ahead and flip the lever that would get him out of there. He apparently seen him go out of the boat, but his airline chute, the chute that they wear, the pack on the back, apparently the lines got connected with the boat. And as the boat was starting then to go down, Chip was entangled still with the boat. The boat's sinking here, what, 50 yards away. Chip's being pulled down and along by the airline uh, chute on the parachute, the lines. And finally, they apparently threw a knife to the fella in the rescue boat. He couldn't get to them, and Chip finally untangled the lines and got out of it himself, and you saw him being pulled aboard a boat. So a bruised kidney apparently is the only injury for Chip Hanauer. That's great. And the boat, it just doesn't look like it's going to go anymore at all. Maybe never. If they repaired, it would certainly be for next year. Well, with the